So how do we get out of here? I'm reminded by uh, another story of a one-armed boy uh, who wanted to learn judo. He went from one coach to another coach and said, hey coach, I want to learn judo. And every coach told him that you cannot learn judo because you only have one arm. Till he met one coach, he said, yes, I will teach you judo. So that coach taught this boy of one arm judo and he entered competition six months later. He won the first round, the second round, the semi-finals and finally had the trophy in his one arm. Everybody was surprised, they ran to the coach and says, what happened? He said, all of you were seeing what he didn't have. What I saw was the boy only had one arm. And therefore I decided, okay, what can I do with one arm? In judo, there is an aggressive move that if you attack an opponent, the only counter to that aggressive move is catch hold of the left arm of your opponent and spin him around. Since my boy doesn't have a left arm, there is no counter and he would win. So the issue for Indian IT industry is not try and be Accenture, not try and be IBM, not try and be anybody else. It is true we have one arm, but we are here. So let us look at what that one arm can deliver. And let us make that one arm our most competitive differentiation so that we can go from $50 billion to $100 billion rather than $25 billion. That is the way to think about it. So I have five suggestions, very quickly, five suggestions. I think the first thing which we need to do is to solve the problem called aspiration. For some reason, single digit revenue growth seems to be acceptable. It was not acceptable a decade ago. Why it is acceptable now? Why is the leadership, the managers, the general managers, the CEOs willing to accept a single digit growth with so much technology disruption happening in the world? If we will always underperform our aspiration. So the first port of call for us is to increase our aspirations. I was talking to a few companies in Hyderabad which are growing at 30% year on year. I advise a lot of companies, uh, part of my, my being part of a PE network. A, a lot of companies are growing at 30-40% per year on year. Why can't every company grow at 30-40% year on year as we were growing a decade ago? It is possible. But it cannot happen if the aspiration itself is not to grow at 30%. So the first port of call is how do we get the aspiration quotient up for the, for the industry by saying a single digit growth is not acceptable. We need to grow at 30%. The second is experimentation. We have become risk averse. When Narayan Murthy set his shop or Shiv Nada set his shop or Premji set his shop or even FC Kohli set his shop, they were experimenting. Nobody had done it before. There was a 50% probability that these guys would fail. But they experimented. They experimented with large campuses. They experimented with global delivery, engineering services, BPO, infrastructure management. Huge amount of experimentation, huge amount of risk. Went into global countries. They were never, never gone below, uh, you know, uh, China, Japan, European, non-English speaking countries. A lot of experimentations. They were the process followed for experimentation. So after aspiration, I will say we need experimentation. We need to experiment with new ideas because nobody has the right answer. If anybody knew the right answer, we would copy and we would execute because we could do that very well. But we need a process of experimentation. We need a structure for experimentation. The third is differentiation. What is the differentiation? Now these days when you look at companies, why did I, EDS die? Because it didn't, it looked like anybody else. Why did HP die? It looked like everybody else. CSC, same. So when you start looking like everybody else and differentiation collapses and it is only in PowerPoint presentation and the differentiation is only in size, you are about to die. So we need to sharply focus on differentiation and saying, okay, I'm going to go and take a bet which nobody else has taken before. Unless you are obsessed with differentiation, the 30% will not happen. So differentiation. Number four, and this pains me, employees. Employees are the reason we are here. Employees are the reason they did stuff which they had never done before. 
they work nights, they work days. We empower them, we energize them, we train them, we send them to countries they have never gone before, we send them to cultures they have not gone before and they clicked. And they delivered this 50 billion dollar industry. Why are employees a cost now? Why are employees a problem now? Employees are the reason of our differentiation. We have to put employees back in the center of our strategy. Not as cost, but as opportunity. And that pains me because we seem to be losing it. Every single global customer will tell you the reason he chose Indian IT industry versus somebody else was because of people. We have to have faith in the people that they will navigate us out of the situation. So the fourth point is let's think about employees once again and see if we are getting that strategy wrong. Cost cutting is fine. I am not in dispute with that. But it can be done with the fitness. It can be done with the human heart. It can be done by energizing people, not by threatening them. And the last is the sales strategy. What is the sales strategy of Indian IT? Now, as you saw, Deloitte has 40,000, 50,000 people. Capgemini has people. IBM has people. Accenture has people. So, why should I buy from you when I can buy from all of them? So we need to think about this differently. Number two, sales is not about selling capacity. Sales is about selling solutions. So we do not need sales people now. We need business consultants now. We need people who understand disruption which is happening in a client industry. We need a completely different set of articulation, different approach. And I think of all the companies, Accenture has done a fantastic job of changing themselves into digital organization by changing the front end. So I think increasing aspirations, thinking of experimentation, diff creating differentiation, putting employees back in the center of things and setting a sales strategy are things which we need to think about if we need to get to $100 billion. Is that possible? The reason I say it is possible is because when I quit in 2013, I was facing a challenge of 14 crore children in our schools in, government, in India, government schools, where the learning outcome was going down every year, despite doubling of investment in education. So the question I decided to focus on through Sampak Foundation is to stop this decrease in learning outcome, being a private entity and not being government, and come up with disruptive innovation which can reverse the trend of learning outcome and see if we can improve the learning outcome. Our research shows that in grade 5, 6 out of 10 children could not read grade 2 text and 8 out of 10 cannot do simple math sums as per the government published data on learning outcomes. So we decided that we are going to take up this challenge and bring in disruptive innovation in the way the classroom transaction happens. And we asked the same questions. Where does learning outcome get created? We said it gets created in the interface of the teacher and the child. Who creates learning outcome? The teacher. And so far we were blaming the teacher. So therefore what can we do to help the teacher create learning outcome? By bringing innovation in the hands of the teacher so that she can ignite the classroom and bring learning outcome and joy. So we brought in five or six innovative elements including our audio box, where the enchanting voice of Sampak Didi, like Mary Poppins, bring Bollywood songs, dance, all that stuff, and rolled it out to 76,000 schools in six states. And the learning outcome by feedback consulting uh, in Bangalore showed a 40% year-on-year increase in learning outcome because of those innovations. The reason I'm, I'm quoting that is impossible is something we have made possible in IT industry before. We in India have a lot of crises on hand. We have a job crisis. We have an economic growth crisis. Indian IT industry has been a solution to many of our problems in the past. It needs to stand up and solve our problems in the future. If they need to do that, you need to stand up. 
You need to believe in yourself that the impossible is possible. And incremental thinking, incremental growth is not acceptable. You are going to disrupt. You're going to find that one-armed boy inside you. You're going to find that plumber inside you. And the day you do that, and there are enough of you who do that, Indian IT will be great again. Thank you so much.